This is the brand new Sony ZV-1F vlogging camera. In this video, I'm gonna go over 10 reasons why this is the perfect vlogging camera and include lots of sample footage so you can make up your own mind if this is the best camera for you. Now, first of all, if we haven't met, my name is Susie and I make tutorials and gear reviews to help you shoot high quality videos and vlogs in a compact minimalist setup. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Reason number one, the ZV-1F is an ultra compact camera coming in at 256 grams. Here it is in relation to my phone, and you can see that it's the perfect size for slipping into your pocket or your purse. Now, speaking of smartphones, that's one of the biggest competitors to this camera. So I'll be making lots of general comparisons to smartphones or iPhones in the next few points especially point number five, which I think is the key reason why this camera is better than using a phone to vlog. Now, part of the reason why this camera is so small is that it has a prime lens or a fixed lens of 20 millimeters f2.0. This is a pretty big departure from the original Sony ZV-1 camera, which has a built-in 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens. But one of the complaints about that camera is that 24 millimeters isn't wide enough for vlogging. And I have to agree. In my opinion, the 20 millimeter focal length is ideal for holding the camera out at a reasonable distance and capturing your full face in the frame without using a really long tripod or a selfie stick. Now, speaking of tripods and selfie sticks, if you're trying to use one for your phone, a lot of them have these specialized clamps that aren't always the most secure attachments. This Sony camera has the traditional quarter inch hole on the bottom for attaching to a tripod or a mount, which is a lot more secure. And they've actually placed it on the edge of the camera so that when you pop out the flip screen, the camera is more balanced. And if you're looking for a nice mini tripod to vlog with the Sony camera, I really like this option by Sony because not only is it a really nice grip, but it's a tripod and it has a built-in Bluetooth remote control. Now, even though there's a fixed camera lens, you actually can zoom on this camera. There's even a physical zoom toggle on it to zoom in. So this is using Sony's clear image zoom feature to enlarge the image while retaining their original image quality. Now, most cell phones also have built-in zoom, but usually it degrades your image a lot, so it's not really worth using the zoom on your phone. Now, clear image zoom is one of the best features on Sony mirrorless cameras, and I actually use it on my Sony a7 IV all the time. So while it's not a lot of zoom range, I think it's flexible enough for most vloggers. Speaking of image resolution, this camera has a one inch sensor that is bigger than most smartphone sensors, and it can shoot it up to 4K 30 frames per second. And it can also take 20 megapixel photos if you switch it over to photo mode using the mode button on top. You can also shoot in S and Q or slow and quick mode for shooting up to five times slow motion or hyperlapses at 60 times speed. The camera also has extremely natural looking colors straight out of camera. Now, sometimes Sony gets some flack about not having great color science, but honestly, I love the colors that come straight out of this camera. They look so true to reality and there's nothing exaggerated or fake about the colors. You can even shoot an S-Log if you want a flat video that you can later color grade or post process to your own liking. Because of that one inch sensor in the camera, the ZV-1F also does a really great job in low lighting. These clips were taken at a sushi restaurant where you can see that it is super dark and yet the image quality is pretty good. The details aren't super muddled and while there is some image noise or grain, it's not really distracting or degrading the video quality. The next really great feature about the ZV-1F is the built-in microphone. When I've tested other Sony compact vlogging cameras, I've always been blown away at how good the internal microphones sound. And this camera is no exception. It's a built-in directional microphone that comes with its own furry windscreen that actually makes a really huge difference in the sound quality. Now we have the little windscreen on, so this is what it sounds like with that windscreen on in really windy conditions. Now, personally, I would just use this built-in microphone, but there's also a 3.5 millimeter microphone jack if you wanna add your own external microphone. Now, when comparing the ZV-1F to a cell phone, most phones don't have the best sound quality when you're trying to film videos. Now, the problem here is that if you wanna add an external microphone to a smartphone, then you need a cage or some way to attach that mic to the phone. And you usually need to get a very specific microphone that will work with cell phones. So 
it's a lot faster, easier, and cheaper to use a dedicated camera that has a really good built-in microphone and can also accept most microphones out there and has a built-in cold shoe for attaching your own external microphone if you want to go that route. The flip screen is the next big pro of this camera. When you pop open the screen, the camera automatically powers on, which is a really cool feature. And since it's a touch screen, you can easily change the settings or start recording by just tapping on the screen. No cell phones out there have flip screens, and even though you can get away with using the front-facing camera on your phone, the video quality is usually not the best, and a lot of people end up using their smartphones with the rear-facing camera just to get better image quality, even though there's no selfie screen. So with this camera, you don't have to sacrifice image quality just to see what you're shooting, which is a really big benefit. As you're checking yourself out in that flip screen, you might notice a few other great Sony features at play. The first is the soft skin effect, which I think is a must-have for every vlogging camera. It's nice. And it keeps focus actually. Yeah. Interesting. This ensures that your skin is buttery smooth even if you're not wearing makeup and it does all of this in camera. You can of course toggle this feature off but why would you? The other awesome feature on display here is Sony's autofocus which I still think is the very best in its class. Ultra windy conditions right now but we're actually heading to dinner. We're going to a 17 course sushi dinner at Sushi by Scratch. There's also face priority autofocus which keeps the subject's face in constant brightness even when lighting conditions are changing. Another feature that I love about this camera is the background defocus button, which is located on top of the camera. So when you press it, it automatically blurs your background, giving you that traditional YouTube vlogger effect. There's also a product showcase setting which helps you focus on products for whenever you're making a video like a product review, like this one. And the final great feature about the ZV-1F is its integration with smartphones because let's be real, most of us want to send those clips directly to social media from the camera. The Sony Imaging Edge mobile app lets you control the camera remotely, as well as preview and download any content that you've already shot in your camera. But the best new feature on the ZV-1F is Shot Mark, which lets you cut down your video to 15, 30, or 60 second increments to expedite editing and getting that video off of your camera and onto your smartphone. So these are 10 reasons why the Sony ZV-1 F is the best vlogging camera, and there's a bonus reason. It's only 500 US dollars. Compared to other cameras in the Sony ZV line, it's currently the cheapest, with the other options being the original Sony ZV-1 and the Sony ZV-E10. The Sony ZV-1F is currently available for pre-order, there's a link in the description below, and it will start shipping in late October 2022. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, if this is a camera that you would consider vlogging with, or if you prefer another type of camera, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.